Our 2013 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. Patrick Norton here, CES 2013. Last year, CES 2012, Intel talked about, well, you need to use your voice and your hands to control your computer. And oh boy, are they hammering on down on that in force. Ultrabooks later this year, if it's gonna be an Ultrabook, touch screens will be mandatory. Always on is gonna be mandatory. Background updating of content is going to be mandatory. Basically, Intel is going to make your Ultrabook perform a lot more like a cell phone. So as you touch the touch screen, boom, it's going to wake up, give you your latest Facebook updates, your sports scores, whatever you have on there. And Intel is serious about this because if it's an Ultrabook, it's going to have a touch screen and it's going to behave the way they wanted to. It was interesting. Intel had an Ultrabook reference design, 13 hours of battery life, batteries behind the screen, basically single finger removing of the screen from the base to turn it from a notebook into a tablet, batteries under underneath the, uh, what do you call that thing, the keyboard. It's so last year, the keyboard and the mouse. And that was one of the things that Intel said, look, the keyboard and the mouse are decades old. We want to push perceptual computing. So they saw demonstrations of using their set-top monitor, perceptive computing device to reach into a screen. But what really got actually brought it home that this might actually be cool was Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? Looking on a screen, your child can look for Waldo. It'll track their pupils and bam, when they find Waldo, it gets recognized. And that was actually really interesting. More compelling to me than uh, Lenovo's 20 Inch the Horizon, which is an awesome computer, but Monopoly on the family room with the kids. It's interesting, but I'm not quite sure the apps are there. And you know what? Intel knows that. So they have a huge, all in one computing ecosystem they're building together with some of the major vendors out there, including EA, Microsoft Studio, Sony, Dell, HP, Filmundus, uh, Altermouse, Nomad, Sesame Workshop. So they want to basically have a full range of games that take advantage of the fact that 10 fingers can be touching that screen simultaneously on the tabletop. I think people are going to be using it for playing games and playing with music, but you never know. We'll find out next year. Right now, though, let me tell you something. Where's Waldo? Tracking your pupils. That was the coolest thing I saw, and I can't actually wait to see the fourth generation uh, Intel Ultrabooks, mostly because we're talking about lower prices, more battery life, and more processing powder. Patrick Norton here at CES 2013. For more of Techzilla's coverage, do me a favor. Go to revision3.com slash CES or revision3.com slash Techzilla or youtube.com slash TechHD. I got to go to the next press conference. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage.